Last year, while hanging out with Mr. Beast, Jimmy told me that I should build the ultimate gaming room inside of a cave. Well, I don't have a cave anywhere around here. I did have this shed over here. So I turned this boring shed into an epic Minecraft gaming cave. Oh, wow, Michael, this is good. Because this video was inspired by Jimmy, I'm gonna be going big with the giveaways. I'm giving away thousands of dollars worth of cool geek. Let's go with the build First video. First thing that I had to do was get all this junk out of the shed. And I proceeded to take these shelves out. This was seriously taking way too much time and I knew that there was a better way. Ah. I got all the shelves out and I'm gonna reuse this wood, but I needed more. I ran out of materials on my own property, so I just went to Lowe's and bought everything that I need. I designed the entire room in SketchUp just to kind of visualize where I was headed with this build. First step was to put it on some OSB boards for an extra strong subfloor. I then had to start building the wall where the door was going to be to separate the storage space that I was going to leave in the shed and the 10 by 10 space that would be the Minecraft gaming cave. After I got the frame up, I installed the pocket door. I chose a pocket door just because I didn't want to take up any space inside of the gaming room or inside of the shed. I think it was the right choice, but it was a pain to get installed. Then this really was the first time that I got to see and feel the space with that frame up. I also made sure that I sealed all of the gaps in this shed and got to work on digging the trench for the electrical. Man, I wish I had a diamond pickaxe at this point. First time that I'd run my own electrical like this, but I definitely recommend that you guys get your own professional electrician to do electrical for you. I don't recommend attempting your own main panel or sub panel installations on your own. It was a lot of physical labor trying to get these wires run through the conduit, but I finally got it all the way through and got the electrical pulled so that I could connect this shed up to the main electric. I had to drill a lot of holes in the studs. After all the holes were drilled, then I ran the 12 gauge wire all around this room and even ran some electrical over into the storage part and gave myself some exterior outlets as well. Because I didn't know all the cables that I was going to have to run for the media equipment, I decided to install this inch and a half conduit in the wall, which would allow me to easily run HDMI cables later. I also installed the ethernet cable just to make sure everything was hardwired for internet. I installed blocking behind where the TV was going to be mounted. It was going to be an 82 inch TV and I did not want that thing to fall down ever. At this stage, the room was really starting to take shape and I was at my least favorite step of this project, insulation. So I got myself well protected and just got to work installing this. I just decided to go really quick. I don't enjoy doing this part. And so I just went as fast as I could possibly go and got this stuff installed into all the walls and the ceiling. Got the insulation done. That is always my least favorite part, that thing. Should do a little bit better in here until I get the mini split installed right up here. The first drywall. Sanding these walls flat was ridiculously dusty and dirty. So while I was cleaning my tools, I had the thought, I need to cool off. Jim, is that you? Minecraft fans, we are going into the paint room. Are you with me? This is what you need to do to get into the drawing that will happen 60 days after the day that this video goes live. You need to be subscribed to this channel. You need to like this video. You need to share this video. You need to comment down below. It's also very, very important that you give my friends at Valencia Theater Seating some love and go like their Facebook page linked in the description. Go down and find it. I cannot wait to give away Valencia Tuscany Sports Edition seating that's valued at over $2,000 to one of you lucky viewers. 
I chose to do a custom wallpaper, so my nephews and I went into Minecraft and we created an amazing cave and created renderings off of that cave to have custom wallpaper printed by my buddy Zach over at Tucson Signs and Printing. He also volunteered to come over and help me install it, which I was super excited about because I've never worked with this 3M wrap, but it went on amazingly and he was so awesome at helping me get this installed onto the walls and even the ceiling which he had not done before but it was awesome that he helped me do that and i just think that this is the detail that really made this room go from just a room in a shed to an amazing minecraft cave i really wanted people to feel like they were inside of a Minecraft cave when they were in there playing Minecraft or whatever game that they wanted to play. It took about a day and a half to get all of this 3M wrap up on the wall and I think the effort was really worth it and I finished the door off with, of course, a classic Minecraft door and this is the pocket door so that it slides in and out. Doesn't really move like a real Minecraft door but it's a fun detail. Now that all the 3M wrap is installed in the room, I moved on to actually finishing details of this room. One of those key elements was going to be these custom Minecraft gaming cube cabinets, I guess I'm calling them, that I designed. And I wasn't really sure how they were going to turn out, but I had an idea in my head. And I first did some renderings in SketchUp and then got to work cutting. I wanted to create a 3D element to the pixels of a classic Minecraft or cube. So just using the eighth of an inch blade thickness, I went eighth of an inch deep into the plywood, just moved it every inch. I then marked out out where I was going to cut out holes to allow the LED lights that I'll put inside these cubes to pass through, creating that glowing iron ore look in these Minecraft cubes. If you guys want me to make a dedicated build video on these Minecraft cubes, let me know in the comments below. I've got a lot more footage on how I made these and put these together and be happy to make a dedicated video on how I cut them and assembled them. But just let me know down in the comments. I was really pleased at how they were turning out and after I had them partially assembled, I moved on to painting them. This was easily done by using this electric spray paint gun. And I started with a base primer coat and then moved on to this darker gray color. And that's starting to look kind of Minecrafty. I installed some hinges for the doors and then also installed the plexiglass, which was frosted and moved back over into the shed to get them mounted, measuring carefully to make sure that the Xbox One X and that PS5 would be able to sit on top of it. But then this happened. No! No! Oh well, I'll just fix it with the drip stone. The Xbox One X and that PS5 fit perfectly on top of that, and even though I put the PS5 on backwards. Oh, oh my god! I thought they were turning out pretty cool. At this stage, I was now finally ready to install that AC unit. I chose to go with a Mr. Cool mini split 12,000 BTU unit because this is kind of a small space and those are rated for about 500 square feet. I had to just drill through the exterior of the shed to run the hoses, put a mount on the outside and lifted that outside unit into place. And then the inside air handler is white and that just was not going to fly. So I found this matte black wrap on Amazon and then used some of the leftover 3M from the Minecraft print and just wrapped the whole inside air handler. I was really pleased at how that kind of camouflaged the whole inside air handler. Still visible, but it kind of blends away into the rest of the decor. I installed the Brilliant Control light switch. These are awesome. I have them in my home theater shed as well as in the house. It allows me to not only control the lights, but has built an Alexa and I can pretty much control anything in my house or shed that I want. Time to hang that 82 inch Samsung TV on the wall. I did enlist my friend Jad for helping me bring some of the heavier stuff in. Solo's desk was nice enough to send me over this very cool gaming sit stand desk that was a perfect size for this room. Valencia Theater Seating also sent me over their Oslo XL home theater seats. They sent me two of these and these were ridiculous comfortable definitely a luxury to have in an epic minecraft gaming cave i will be doing a dedicated review video on these seats at a later date but jed and i had to sit in these and just check to make sure they were comfortable and yeah we approve the last detail to install here for the electronics is the samsung q950a 11.1.4 channel soundbar with dolby atmos Put the subwoofer and the surround speakers behind the seats. Built a custom gaming PC, a Samsung 32-inch curved Odyssey gaming monitor, and a New Air drink cooler. Oh. 